XPHP means X amount of brake horsepower, which means we do road trips on machines ranging from our homemade single cylinder world class motorcycles to the world's best on four wheels. In 2017, we decided to do something very few people had done before go around the continent on two of the world's fastest bikes a 280 horsepower Ninja H2 and a Ducati Panigale 1299. This is our story. Alright, so our supercharged adventure started from Sydney Opera House and then we started going towards Brisbane from the East Coast. And from Brisbane, we started going towards the center of Australia, Uluru, which is a sacred mountain right in the heart of Australia. From Uluru, we went back up till we hit the end of road in the city of Darwin. From Darwin, it was a long way down via the city of Perth, which by the way is one of the most isolated cities in the world. After Perth, we crossed the entire Nullarbor Plain, which is a fantastic and surreal place to ride in. After Nullarbor, we finally hit the first city after thousands of kilometers, the city of Adelaide. And after Adelaide, it was Melbourne, before we finally hit Sydney after crossing Australia's highest mountain, Mount Kosciuszko.
सो गाइज दिस इज अवर पेनल्टीमेट डे ऑन दी पावर ट्रिप थ्री सिक्सटी एंड वी हैव डन मोर देन नाइनटीन थाउजेंड किलोमीटर्स इट डजेंट इवन फील लाइक इट्स बी नाइनटीन थाउजेंड किलोमीटर्स एंड फोर्टी फाइव डेज ऑलमोस्ट ऑन द रोड इट जस्ट फील दैट वी स्टार्टेड ये आई डोंट फील टायर्ड इवन अ लिटल बिट येस वी एक्सपेक्टेड दिस राइट टू बी अ लॉट हार्डर एंड अ लॉट मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड दैन पर इट थैंकफुली इट वेंट ऑफ प्रिटी ईजीली रेलेटिवली ईजीली बट वी कैन से दिस बिकॉज नाउ द राइड इज ओवर आई डेंट फाइंड एनी थिंग रियली टफ इन दिस एक्सेप्ट जस्ट बैटलिंग स्लीप लिटल बिट एंड क्रॉस विंड एंड द एनिमल्स एंड राइडिंग इन द नाइट एंड फाइंडिंग फूड एंड प्लेस बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द प्लेस शट डाउन बाई सेवन एंड रोड ट्रेन्स एंड समाइम्स uh what else uh, did you find yes, any show uh in though i'm really looking forward to that uh, home cooked food but uh, i'll definitely miss eating out on petrol pumps and uh when i did my first trip in 2007 on the humble hoisting gt 650 hours 72 horsepower i didn't imagine that one day i will be doing this <coughs> on the world's fastest production motorcycle uh with 280 bhp at the crank and um so it all happens in due course i mean that is what i have learned if you just keep doing what you want and love what you love to do things follow god uh, relents and you know right things happen at the right time patience is the key i think and hard work a lot of people say you are lucky nobody is lucky i mean uh, not even uh, the world is just man is lucky it's all hard work and uh, presence of mind and uh, patience we have taken the long road no shortcuts So guys uh, take care and <laughs> Hi guys uh, good evening from beautiful Sydney Australia and today is almost the D-day for us 20000 kilometers around Australia on these two beautiful machines uh, and of course powerful machines the idea for this trip which is called the power trip 360 actually came about not uh, more than 3 months ago this one here we have actually uh, reflashed it to make 280 horsepower we have changed the uh, issue mapping we have changed the uh, air filter the exhaust which you probably see behind me at the power so now it's making 257 horsepower at the rear wheel and we have also prepared the bike of course we have ensure that we can carry some luggage i mean not as much as a uh, adventure motorcycle at this particular point i would also probably you know call uh, my co rider here we are about to start the ride after tomorrow what do you think yes uh, i am excited uh, and little nervous as well let's go all right guys so the destination for day 1 was a beautiful little town of gloucester via the putty road The Putty Road is full of high-speed twisties and is a famous hangout zone for motorcyclists from Sydney. You can see a lot of them riding here particularly on a weekend. This is the first 50 kilometers that we have covered and uh as you can see it's very beautiful. The high country is about to start and this road is the Putty Road which is one of the most beautiful roads in New South Wales. And today we also have seen the first road sign which says 100 kmph. right over here and uh, in the northern territory we will uh, see uh, the 130 speed limit which is the maximum that we will see in the entire road trip so and behind me as you can see we've got some very interesting artifacts uh it's like kind of an open air museum of sorts of everything which is not being used and old and rusted it's actually mad max kind of territory i mean so this place is called walka and it's a uh, uh, town in the middle of um, where the thunderbolts and oxley highway meet the woman of the movement if i can say is here with me say hello to lora hey guys Hey so she's one of the motorcyclists uh that you know we met on Facebook and we are now meeting her offline so she rides a, a CBR 600 RR you have a Indian connection as well yeah i have my um best friend lives in Gujarat 
and so I go over and visit her every couple of years and um, while I'm over there I go traveling and ride through Ladakh and different areas as well. And so what do you like best about India? Why do you keep coming back to India? Um, nice people, good culture. Um, Australia doesn't have that sort of culture I guess so it's sort of cool to see such an old culture and people who are just so friendly with it all and interesting. Leora, who is also known as Hippie Chick, is a bike racer from New South Wales and usually races on a CBR 125R. She rode a few hundred kilometers from her place to meet us and to ride with us. Thank you so much for your company, Leora. It was great riding with you. Imaging device acquired. Guys, this is day two of Power Trip 360, and uh, I'm actually at a very magical place. Obviously, the beach it has to be with the therapeutic sound of the waves and uh, a full moon over my head and thousands of stars. Actually, I can see with my naked eye. This has to be one of the most magical experiences after leaning a bike. A 280BHP Ninja is two into the corners. Being a photographer, what the Sony Alpha has given, the capability of showing things in the dark like this is amazing. This is actually, there's no other light except uh, moonlight here. And it's, uh, I think, 9 p.m. And I just want to absorb this movement a little bit alone. And take care until uh, we see you soon. Ride safe and keep shooting. And on day 4, we crossed into Queensland from New South Wales and reached Gold Coast, one of the most popular tourist destinations of Australia, famous for its surfing beaches. It is the famous surfer's paradise in uh, Gold Coast. And I think those buildings over there, that is a Gold Coast uh, skyline. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually so up close with uh, surfers and this kind of a beach which is actually meant for surfing um, so today we are uh, we have reached uh, Gold Coast and tomorrow Brisbane and we'll have uh, lots more uh, things you know coming on uh, uh, in this trip a lot of experiences lined up so here it is the world famous uh, Gold Coast New armor acquired. So guys, this is day number five of the Power Trip 360 and we have reached Brisbane. And as you can see behind me, it's a beautiful Brisbane skyline just after sunset. Now the thing with Australian cities is that all of the major cities mostly they are on the waterfronts and the skyline, the, uh, the tall buildings, they look even more beautiful when they are reflected off in the water, especially at sunset and dawn. So here's the thing that this is the second big city in our trip after Sydney. And from here on, as we go towards north, for a very, very long time, you're not going to see any big metropolis. So after Brisbane, the biggest city uh, metropolis will be Darwin and that is a good I think 5,000 kilometers away from here. So you can actually feel how big Australia really is. It's actually a continent. So guys, uh, today is a Wednesday and we were here in Brisbane on the Power Trip 360. Somebody told us that there's a big uh, motorcycling meet which is going to happen. So we landed up here, uh, some place called Harry's Diner. And in the car park, you can see probably around two, 300 motorcycles. 
So this was actually a pretty good uh, welcoming kind of a thing for us. Totally unexpected, totally unplanned. Uh, let's have a look around like what kind of motorcycles are here. <laughs> so this one is usually a police motorcycle in a lot of countries. And that too in white. Okay, come on. This one is really one of the most beautiful motorcycles that I've seen. This baby plate over here. Do you see that? Pretty exciting. I, I don't I don't know how much time will India take to reach up to these kind of levels where there are a lot of motorcyclists who just come and hang around and talk to each other, kind of a thing. I, this is this isn't isn't even a planned kind of a meet, it's just uh, once in a month kind of a thing. You know and there are places in India like Thrall Shortle and stuff like that. But I think they're going to take a lot of time for this kind of culture to come up. Uh, hi guys, uh, this is Hari from Brisbane. I was in Bangalore for the last 10 years. And uh, my biking journey was more or less uh, nurtured by XBHP. It's, it's, it's really nice that I, get, I got to meet um, Sunil and uh, Sunny. And um, all the best to these guys because the task they have taken is like humongous. I just can't imagine riding 800 kilometers on my bike, which is supposedly a touring bike, and these guys are going to do it on super bikes. So all the very best to them and hope uh, you should ride safe. You guys should ride safe. Okay. New aircraft acquired. It's uh, 6 p.m. and the sun has set. This is our first longest day on the ride uh, with 900 kilometers. And we have done around uh, 620, around six, uh, 285 still to go. As you can say, see uh, above me the sign, it says still a long way to go kids. We actually have a long way to go. Uh, we are going to Airlie Beach today. But let's hope that we don't crash into any kangaroo. I mean, uh, we just saw one very big kangaroo lying on the road uh, roadside. I don't know who did that to it, but uh, even if it was a bus, I'm sure it would have been shaken. I mean, uh, at least thrown off to the other side of the road. So I am here in the middle of highway under moonlight. And it's absolutely stunning. Uh, almost a Milky Way. It's 10.30 almost and the last 50 kilometers are left for Today is 900 kilometers, so I'm just wondering what will happen when we are we are supposed to do the 1800 kilometers in a day. This is Airlie Beach and day number eight. Um, we have done 4,000 kilometers. We are in our second state of Queensland after New South Wales. This one is Shoot Harbour, and it's absolutely beautiful i mean i don't know if you can hear the sound of waves breaking and it's so calming so soothing and just after listening to the flutter of the supercharger on the h2 and the brutal roar of the v twin on the panigale when you stop when you stop to hear this and especially in such a place it's absolutely magical From this point, we left the Australian coastline and started riding inland towards the centre of Australia into the Australian outback. Good morning guys, uh, today we are going to Charters Towers from Irelie Beach. Uh, we are moving along the coast and uh, going up north. A little after 40-50 kilometres, we will take a left and start moving towards the centre of Australia towards Uluru and things will start changing drastically. 
the population will get sparser, roads will get emptier and hopefully we'll be able to do much better speeds. And right now we have stopped for a small break. Uh, we saw this farm selling these huge vegetables like this one. Uh, I don't know what's this but this looks like yummy food. I wish I could you know eat it all but uh, anyways see. Once you leave the Australian coastline and start riding towards the center of Australia, the population suddenly disappears and the nothingness starts getting onto you. The towns look empty and most of the time it is only you on the road and no one else, except a lot of kangaroos and a few occasional road trains. But you also get to see some of the most beautiful sunsets and sunrises here and also you get to ride more freely because there is almost no traffic and speed limits are not enforced that strictly. This is actually supercharged, the Kawasaki Ninja H2 and uh, this requires a lot of uh, heat dissipation to keep the bike cool and hence there's a direct relation uh, more than uh, what you know with the engine oil. Power upgrade acquired. Because you don't want this bike to seize in the middle of nowhere. This gets really really hot uh, but obviously that is inside the engine because of the oil and cool coolant it actually doesn't reflect in the uh, thermometer on the gauge. Today is almost 800 kilometers day we have done around 50 kilometers. Now we are going to hit a town it's called Klongkari it's supposed to have recorded Australia's uh, hottest temperature ever at 56 degrees. So the road trains are literally road trains the trains that run on the road. These are uh, really long trucks if you uh, want to simplify it. So when you are passing a road train, especially on uh, bikes, there is a suction which is created and when you pass you know, you, uh, the road train, all of a sudden a lot of air hits you. So that is something which you also need to take care of. The air is so fresh here. I mean, and when I am looking up in the sky, there are so many stars. I mean, I don't think even there is a square millimeter which is devoid of a star i can see the milky way with my uh, naked eyes i mean and this camera i don't know what it can do so we are 45 kilometers from mount isa which is one of the major cities uh, in uh, center of australia almost and literally i'm standing in the middle of the highway and uh, just you know looking at the stars wondering what is this all about the universe and all these kind of things the thing is that this highway or any, any road in Australia for that matter, you are not supposed to ride in the dark, but we are doing the exact opposite. I mean, we are forced to because we take so many pictures and videos and do so many updates that, you know, eventually we, we you know, end up riding in the dark. And today we had to ride around 250 kilometers. And along the way, the whole highway was actually uh, stinking. Uh, there was stench of death, you know, and decay because there were a lot of animals who were, which were plastered onto the tarmac by road trains. So it is that amazing. I mean, let me actually go into the center of the road and, you know, just, just, you know, take all this in. I mean, I can see the complete, the whole Milky Way. It's amazing. I mean, I, I, I don't know why I've no aliens landed so far. I mean, there must be some. Right now we are on the Barkley Highway and uh, we have just bought a 10 litres fuel container which is in the Panigale 
the next fuel is 270 kilometers from here and we are at the border of Queensland and Northern Territory from here the speed limit changes to 130 so that is a welcome change but uh, things are getting more desolate and it's incredibly hot and we just hope that both the man and machine can uh, be okay and make this through uh, the most critical part is to keep us hydrated and to keep the bike hydrated with fuel and of course the oil we should you know we'll have to do its part all right guys so we have stopped for a fuel break the only difference is that there is no petrol pump here instead of the petrol pump we decided to make our own mini fuel pump here sunil ji what are your thoughts after this uh, emptiness this is mind boggling mind blasting so this is our own petrol tank here we go very nice very nice i also want to drink but water on day 13 while riding to Alice Springs from the town of Tennant Creek in the Northern Territory, we reached this place called the Devil's Marbles, a huge valley filled with round-shaped granite boulders. These boulders were formed due to the erosion of the rocks over millions of years and are sacred to the local aboriginals. When you see these rocks, you start wondering whether this is nature's work or whether some aliens did it. And talking about aliens, we did find a place which is called the Alien Siding Capital of Australia. But more about that in the next episode.